No musician may achieve what Diana Ross achieved in her 65 years in the entertainment industry. Surprisingly, her five biological children have followed closely in her footsteps as you will see in this video. Born on March 26, 1944 in Detroit, Michigan in the United States of America, the 79-year-old mother of five is literally the musical mother of all your favorite music stars. From Michael Jackson, Jennifer Lopez, Jody Watley, Janet Jackson, and Madonna's music, there is always a touch of Diana Ross. The Supreme Singer has played a key role in the development of the black entertainment. Beyonce has cited Diana Ross as a primary influence in her musical style. She even played a pop star based on Diana Ross in the 1996 film Dreamgirls. Jay-Z, too, has publicly expressed that witnessing Ross perform in the rain at a Central Park concert stands out as his most perfect moment ever. Additionally, he has made lyrical references to the singer in his songs. Ross has been married twice. While under contract with Motown, she became romantically involved with the CEO of the record company, Barry Gordy, in 1965. This romantic relationship endured for several years, culminating in the birth of Ross's first child, Rhonda Suzanne Silberstein, in August 1971. During the early stages of her pregnancy with Rhonda, in January 1971, Ross entered into marriage with music executive Robert Ellis Silberstein. She was two months pregnant. Robert lovingly embraced Rhonda as his own daughter, even though he knew her true paternity. It wasn't until Rhonda turned 13 that Ross disclosed to her that Barry Gordy was her biological father. Prior to this revelation, Rhonda affectionately referred to Gordy as Uncle B.B. They went on to welcome two more daughters, Tracy Ellis Ross, who is now 51 years old, and Chutney Ross, 48. Diana split from Silberstein in 1977 and went on to marry Norwegian businessman and mountaineer Arne Ness Jr. in 1986. The former couple had sons Ross Arne Ness, 36, and Evan Ross, 35. This is how a considerable number of Diana's children have chosen to emulate her path by venturing into careers within the entertainment sector. Her firstborn Rhonda Suzanne Silberstein ventured into music and acting. Though she considers herself a storyteller and a poet, Rhoda uses her music to inspire and to uplift her fans. The Emmy-nominated actress does music based in traditional jazz, but with a heavy influence from the entire African diaspora. In 1996, Rhonda tied the knot with pianist Rodney Kendrick, and together they celebrated the birth of their son, Rafe Hennick Emanuel Kendrick, in 2009. At the 2019 Grammys, Rafe Hennick proudly introduced his grandmother, Diana. Tracy Ellis Ross is her mother's most celebrated child. The now 51 years old actress and musician is the only child of Diana Ross who has never been married or had kids. Tracy emphasized her belief that society strongly encourages women to prioritize marriage and starting a family in a 2021 interview with Marie Claire. She shared that she used to daydream about her wedding, but later realized there is more to life than just waiting for those things to happen. Tracy expressed her desire to focus on other important things instead of sitting around and waiting. She is well known as an actress. Tracy Ellis Ross got her start on The CW's Girlfriends, playing the role of Joan Clayton for all eight seasons from 2000 to 2008. In 2014, she started playing Rainbow Johnson on ABC's Blackish. Tracy received five Emmy nominations for her role as Rainbow, and the show's eighth and final season was broadcast in 2022. Even though her character on Blackish is a wife and mother, Tracy mentioned in 2018 that she was content being single. The actress made her singing debut in her 2020 movie The High Note. The film also marked the first time her mom had ever heard her sing. As usual, Diana Ross was so excited since she had for a long time been encouraging Tracy to try her luck in music. Besides being an entertainer, Tracy owns her own hair care line, Pattern Beauty. She ventured into this business after failing to get a product in the market that could work well with her type of hair. On November 4, 1975, Diana and Silberstein welcomed their third daughter Chutney Ross. 
Though Chudney earned an English and Fine Arts degree from Georgetown University and went on to teach at elementary school for several years, she later realized her passion was in the entertainment industry. She joined NBC and worked as a production manager on the reality series Fame in 2003 and as a producer on Mesmerized in 2004. She is married to Joshua Faulkner and together they have two daughters. Diana Ross got her first son on October 7, 1987 and he was named after his dad, Ross Arn Ness. She had him with her second husband Arn Ness Jr. Diana and Ness got divorced in 2000 and unfortunately, for years later, Arn passed away while rock climbing. Their son Ross Arn Ness shares his dad's love for exploring nature and his enthusiasm for winter sports. He is married to Kimberly Ryan and together they have two sons. Diana Ross's last born son Evan Ross was born on August 26, 1988. He became famous for acting in the movie ATL in 2006, as well as in CW's 90210, The Hunger Games, and The United States vs. Billie Holiday. In the field of reality television, Evan and Simpson created and acted in their own reality TV show named Ashley Plus Evan, which first aired on E! In 2018, the show allowed viewers to see what their relationship and family life were like, with appearances from their well-known family and friends. It also offered a glimpse into their music career together. Evan is a musician too, by the way. He is married to Ashley Simpson and together they have a son and a daughter. Evan is a stepfather to Simpson's son with her previous husband, musician Pete Wentz. So of all the children of Diana Ross, only Ross Arn Ness opted not to be in the entertainment industry. All the rest are entertainers. In terms of marriage and having own families, only Tracy Ellis Ross decided to stay single and not to have any children and she has now reached menopause. This was her choice and she says she doesn't regret it. With such a family, we can say Diana Ross is truly blessed. For a long time, Diana lived in a big mansion in Greenwich, Connecticut. In 2007, she tried to sell it for $39.5 million, but couldn't find a buyer. Later, when the real estate market went down, she managed to get a refund on property taxes because they were too high compared to the actual value of the house. She recently bought a house in Miami Beach. The deal happened on October 28, 2022, and she paid $15,500,000 for the property. The house is quite spacious, covering an area of 5,837 square feet. Her current net worth as at 2024 is about $250 million. Thank you so much for watching.